Hi everybody. It is the end of a long dreary day. It has been raining all day long. I know I'm really late tonight, but that was because of a number of things. I spent a good part of today. Hi, Sandy. I spent a good part of today cleaning, moving on to other parts of the kitchen after having done the other part of it. And then David called and I was on the phone with him for a while. So I got a little bit of a late start tonight. Forgive me, I'm a cappella tonight, no makeup, except I put lipstick on for you. I just didn't feel like it today. Hi, Wendy. Um, Wendy, were you the one who asked what the product was? Hi, Linda. I don't recall. Somebody had asked. Okay, it's called Earth Bright. And it's a wonderful product that I've been using for many years. I find it extremely easy to use. It works incredibly well on most things. Hi, hi, Pam. I wish I could see better. It's so tiny on this phone. It's the Merry Maid, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I know. If real estate gap for me, I can hide myself out. I have to tell you, hi, Myra. You know, the funny thing is I did that video in double time because it took twice as long as that to get it done. <clears throat> and I didn't want it playing all that time. I said, you're going to be bored to tears. As it was, I tried to lay um, a music track behind it. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure if you were. I look like Marcel Marceau. I know you said that. Yeah, holding up the thing. I just wanted to make sure that everybody got a good look at it because I was looking for a link for it last night but um i couldn't find it right at that time and then i got busy with something else so i never did the link for it i'll have to go back and do that but i will get it done and i um as i started to say oh hi sheila son of a gun it's a little late for you so i just wanted to uh, let you all get a look at it because such an easy way to clean. It really is. Hi, Rita. I've got to get closer to this thing. Let's see. Is that too much of me? You hummed a whistle while you work. I tried to actually put a music track behind it, and the music track that I was trying to do, let's see, it was ragtime. And it was so great. I really loved the feel of the music behind it. It just wouldn't take for some reason. I was having all kinds of problems. Can toilets be next? You just never know, do you? But I will tell you that I learned how to clean toilets the professional way from Meredith. So I may do that for you. You just never know. This is the beginning of a series because I really think some people like to see how other people clean and sometimes it gives people motivation. I know none of you need it, but for some people it really does. Yes, I figured starting a new series is, is really good. Hi, Mary. It's great for me. Hopefully it'll be good for somebody out there. Okay, yeah, you wanted to know about the lamp. The reason the lamp is there is because, oh, hi, Carol. I have to tell you something, by the way. Um, I have the lamp there because the light that I have attached to the fixture on the ceiling, which is a fan, there's something wrong with the light. Oh, Terry, I'm so glad you did. Um, the light doesn't work. There's something wrong with it. it. It's a long story. But at one point, somebody was doing wallpapering for me upstairs. And it, he was using an old chenille bedspread. 
wetting it, and I don't know if he was wiping down the wallpaper with it or if he was wetting down the walls with I don't remember. But the idiot got it stuck in my toilet and I had to actually take my toilet off the thing to try to pull it back out again. And something happened to the light, which was directly below it. So until I get that fixture fixed, I have three lamps in the kitchen, which give me a really pretty kind of ambient light. Hi, Kathy. And this is the second kitchen, yes. This is the kitchen that used to be my mother's kitchen. And uh, mine, believe me, mine is no more updated than this one. I really, um, I really haven't updated, but I'm gonna be showing the upstairs kitchen anyway, because I promised Sandy, aren't you getting a little personal now? <laughs> no, I didn't actually. I did a sponge bath because I'm scared to death of the thing. I want to reach up there and try to do it myself. I'm going to have to, I really have to get a handyman for the, for the curtain. I really, I really have. I'm so afraid that it's going to pull the thing down. I'm afraid it's going to crack the tub. I just, I don't want to have a much more serious issue going. And there is no way that I can take a shower without. Oh, it's not my shower that's broken. I have one of those tension rods for the shower curtain. And in my idiocy, I was sitting on the shower transfer bench yesterday and I went to pull the curtain back when I was finished without standing up and the, from the leverage, it pulled down the whole thing. So that's bad. Is the migraine better? I've been feeling like I was fighting off a cold also for the last two days. Good, good, I'm glad. I called uh, Linda, well, actually, Linda called me. She called me about four times. And she had, hey, yeah, so do I hate them. She had, she said, I asked her, I said, where did your daughter get the those chocolates? And she said, everybody's been asking me that. And I said, uh-huh. By the way, Carol, when you mentioned that you loved those canisters behind my cafe sign. It didn't hit my leg, thank God. No, it didn't, it hit the floor. But I had, I've had that for a long time, those canisters, I love them. I no longer need them. And I, I'm going to be selling them or getting rid of them. And it's been killing me because I love them so much and I have always loved them. And I want, and I wanted somebody to love them. I wish I could send them to you. I really wish I could send them to you. I'm blurry tonight. Um, there was something wrong with my other phone. I had wanted to do this on the other phone and I was having a problem getting online. I hope there's not an issue with it here. Is everybody else seeing me blurry? The solid ones. The, uh, the, the pink, the green. And what is the other one? I am blurry. You know something? Let me stop this now. Let me go upstairs and let me restart the router and see if it makes a difference. Let me do that, okay? Yes, the solid ones. I'm all right. I am blurry. Okay, I am going to get off now. So everybody hang in. Give me, give me about five minutes or less. I have to go upstairs. I am going to, yeah, hi Tink. I'm fine. Is my screen dirty? What would my, my screen have to do with it? Wouldn't it be the camera? I don't know. No biggie. My Oh, my camera screen. I don't know. You know, I, I've been doing a lot of cleaning and picking up the phones and moving them. It could be. 
it's kind of pixely. No, forget it. Let me get off. Give me five minutes and I'll come right back on. So everybody hang out. I look fine. I don't know what to do. Should I get off? Should I stay on? I don't want to have something that's going to look pixelated. And then I'm going to have an issue later with anybody who wants to watch it after. Mary thinks it's fine. What does everybody else think? It's fine. Stay. It's fine. Stay. Okay. Just blurry. Son of a gun. I would try to clean off the thing. It's no good. Oh, it is good. <sighs> yeah, because I, I tried to do it on the other phone because I figured with the bigger screen it might be better. But I couldn't get online with that one. And I said, here we go again. So I'm playing that same game. Although it's showing me I'm on my Wi-Fi, so I don't know. Oh, it's back on, so I should be okay. <laughs> we can sing. Yes. So I, I was really, really tired. I'm not sure which song that was. So I decided today when it was pouring, Kumbaya, I, uh, I decided when it was pouring out, I just didn't feel like getting up, putting on makeup, getting dressed, and going out. So I figured, what the heck? Yep. So I decided to clean the other half of the room, and that's what I was working on today. So it is almost done. But yes, I'm gonna be taking everybody upstairs to the kitchen upstairs to show the difference, because I know there were a few people who wanted to see the cleaning of the stove that has the black glass top, and my other stove has that. So I thought I could show that, and it would, you know, it's, it's so easy. Ladies, ah, there you are. Okay. So as I was saying, Carol, I wish there were a way that I could get that to you. Um, my leg is, it's in pain as it always is, but on some level, it is feeling better. And I don't know how to explain that or describe it because it hurts. But I feel as if something's a little bit different. Also, sometime within the past week, I stopped waking up every single day feeling sick. And I didn't realize it for the first day or two. But then all of a sudden it was, wait a minute. I don't have that feeling that I'm sick all the time. So whether it had anything to do with that infection that came about and the antibiotics that I was on for a long time or what else, I don't know. Maybe, yeah, thank goodness, maybe it has something to do with the vitamins that I'm taking. I, I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> Hi, Bonnie. The cleaner that I used is called Earth Bright. And I, I think you can still, I have to take a look, but I think you can still get it on HSN. I think they still have it, Earthbrite, exactly. And it, the one thing is, and I have told people about it, some people love it, and a few people have said to me it doesn't work. Well, they don't follow the directions. You sort of need to follow the directions. It is so easy and scrub daddy, right? Actually, I use scrub mama, scrub mommy or scrub mama because scrub, da 
Scrub Daddy is just that hard one, the whole thing, where a Scrub Mama or Scrub Mommy, whichever it is, is half soft and half the hard one. So I like it better. I really do. I don't like the fact that they disintegrate after a month or two and they force you to keep replacing it. But I do like the sponges. But the sponge that comes with the Earth Bright is the only thing I use with the Earth Bright. And, <laughs> and the, um, when you use the Earth, it's on Amazon, the Scrub Daddy and Scrub, yeah, I think so. What's on Amazon? Are you saying Earthbrite is? Because I had looked for Earthbrite on Amazon, and the only one I saw was one that said it was no longer, it was not available. So I, I maybe I missed something, but I did look. Earthbrite is on Amazon? As I say, I did look. But when I pulled it up on Amazon yesterday, it showed that it was not currently available, so I didn't link it. But I'll take another look and I'll do that. Yeah, that would be good. Scrub Daddy. Yeah, the Scrub Daddy, though, it's unavailable. That's the problem. Okay, on HSN. It is on HSN. Yeah, the, um, the problem with getting Scrub Daddy in a place like that is you only get a couple of them and it winds up being more expensive that way. I buy it on QVC and I usually get a package of eight of them. So it'll last me for a good long time and it comes out less expensive that way. Th this cleaner is incredible. Now, let me just tell you, if you're gonna use it, it's very easy. You just put some of it, as you saw, I just rub it on the sponge and then I squeeze the sponge a couple of times and uh, you just then you have a foam that you're working with and you just apply that to whatever the surface is. The trick to it, it's not a trick, it's following directions. But the trick is to then take a wet cloth, I wring it out and I then take it off with the wet cloth and then you use a dry cloth to dry it. So the friends of mine who bought it and said it didn't work, thought it was too much work to just take the wet cloth. Um, oh my Lord, it cleans and polishes. Yes, it does. Yeah, it really does. And it gives a finish to it where water beads, even with pots and pans, I mean, it does a great job. It really does. You can use it for anything. You can use it, there's, there's, uh, you can use it on jewelry. You can use it on grills and outdoor stuff. It really, and that stove is 33, 32 or 33 years old. Oh, yeah. Bonnie, when you do that, can't you put a sheet of um, um, the heavy-duty foil under it to catch the, the you know, the fall-off? <clears throat> you know, that's, that's essentially what I would do. And now, of course, they have those silicone sheets. But when I show you the stove upstairs, you'll see... Yeah, the silicone mat in the bottom of the oven, that's what I was going to get. But mine, you'll see, I mean, there are a couple of little spots in my stove, but trust me, it's it's like nothing, I mean, compared to what many people have. And my stove upstairs is probably, it's got to be 14 or 15 years old now. I love it. I love that stove. I absolutely love it. And I think it looks almost like new. Yeah, the silicone mat is a good idea. Yeah, <clears throat> the silicone mat is a really good product to have. And as I say, I had taken a look at it, but again, because I'm so careful with the stuff. Oh my God, yes, you absolutely should use it. 
You ordered it from Walmart? That's what mine is upstairs. It's a glass top sealed gas stove. <laughs> and they're going to wonder why so many of them went. Oh, of course you can use it. Oh, you're talking about the mat? I'm not sure. But it's, um, but the, this product is, it really does a good job. I love it even on the counters that are just for mica. They, they give them, it's not a sheen exactly, but it gives it a little bit of a finish that just looks nicer. It just looks really good. I'm, I'm extremely pleased with it and I've been using it for years and years. I really have. I've, I've taken it when I've done stagings on houses. I've, yeah, that's amazing, Sandy, that you can do that. I almost bought a toaster oven at one point, but I didn't. It was a little too expensive. Oh, they do make the mats for the toaster ovens too. That's great if you can do it. That's really great. I just refused to touch the inside of the stove downstairs, so I don't know. My upstairs stove, I keep a lot of things in my stove because even though my kitchen upstairs is bigger than the kitchen downstairs, it doesn't have, the cabinet space is not, it should have been designed by a woman, not a man, because it's really not adequate for some of the bigger things. So I find it easier to keep in the stove. People have said to me, you know, it makes it so hot every time you use the stove though. No, it doesn't. I take it out and it takes, I, I looked and I didn't know what was a good, I looked at Breville and I looked at, I forgot what the other one was. And they had one, it got some good reviews, then it got a couple of terrible reviews. There was something from, um, one of them said it was a good toaster oven, but that it got really hot on the top. Oh, you've got the Breville. Yeah, the Breville is one of the ones I had looked at. Cuisinart, I think that was the other one I had looked at. A lot of them, the problem is when I start looking at the reviews, a lot of them have some pretty crummy reviews. Oh, that's great. I really should do that then. I make my life a whole lot easier rather than have to clean it afterwards. Yeah. I just want things that are easy, but of course, right now I've been trying to, um, yeah, there had been a, a Breville that was on sale for just, it was originally 149, I think, and they had it on sale for $99, but it was sort of a greenish color. They had it, I don't remember if it was on Amazon or if it was on QVC, I'm, I don't remember, but whatever it was, I kind of let it go and I didn't get it because I said, oh, you can manage. You know, I, I need to kind of be really cautious right at the moment until I get things back on track and I can get back to work and selling houses so I can actually afford to live. So, You're going to replace it with which? The Cuisinart or the Breville? Or am I missing a conversation? Um, the Breville Mini? Yeah. You know what it is? <clears throat> the truth is, I do have a Bose stereo in my kitchen. Did you hear it go off? I had, to <laughs> I had to cut out a small part of the video because the one that I have in the kitchen, the paint came off. I would like the stainless one. <clears throat> the, um, the Bose that I have 
It was one that they had, again, it was probably QVC back in the day. It was before I got my um, Echo. I would never have gotten it if I had seen an Echo first because the sound on the Echo is wonderful too. However, the bows that I have, it goes on by touch. So when you touch the top of it, it starts playing. And then you have to touch the top of it to make it stop. Well, when I took off the decorative dog that I have on there, it started to play. <laughs> and I know you have to be careful about copyright on YouTube. So I didn't want to have the music playing during my video. So I was trying to get it off and I kept tapping it and tapping it and tapping it. I don't blame you, Tink. I am with you 100%. I think that the cleaner the look, the better. It's just that there are so many things that I need right now. Oh, yeah, the convection is great. How big is the inside of your oven, though, Sandy, that you can do everything in there? Do they have special pans and, and like, I don't know, if you wanted to make a meatloaf, like the, the you know, the meatloaf pans, things like that? <laughs> Good for you, Carol. <laughs> Tin pans, enough for two people meals. Okay. You can get a large cast iron skillet in yours. Wow, that must be a good size. Yeah, I would never have the room for anything that big. I also, I mean, as it is, the stuff that's on, that's on the counter in the kitchen that you saw, the uh, caster, the caster, the um, canister set that is in the print. I'm getting rid of those also, so I'm I'm waiting till I can have a garage sale or something, and I've got a load of stuff that I want to put in it. But in the meantime, it's just sitting there, and it really is annoying me because I would rather it not sit there. I actually, um, when I went back to uh, home goods with the goal of returning the other tea kettle and um, towels. They had those those containers again, and I had to get a couple of those. Short on counter space with the Keurig, yeah. And the Keurig is something that I absolutely need about downsizing my... I have two kitchens in my house, yes. My house is what's referred to as a mother-daughter. When I first bought it, I bought it, I know they're a pain, but I really could use the extra money from you know a lot of the stuff that has to go anyway. So um, unless I just have a tag sale in the house and get professionals to come in and do that, which I've thought of because I really have to get rid of a whole lot of furniture as well. I've got, I've got a lot of stuff in my house. It's an accumulation of 30 something years. I have thought about it. I really have thought about it. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's a consideration. It scares me, but it is a consideration, but I'd have to make some adjustments to the house to make it work. Um, it doesn't work that way here. We have tag sale people will do a tag sale, sell the stuff, and then they will take the um, parking is not a problem. They will take uh, the other stuff and they'll call in somebody um, who will cart away the rest of the stuff that you don't want afterwards. I am, I'm going to have to do something. I really am not sure, Barb, 
but I have to do something. I really can no longer afford to stay here. I need to, I need to downsize or win the lottery. I'm voting for the lottery, but so far it looks like I'm going to have to make a change. So it's, it, you know, it. I lost a lot of momentum this year with my getting sick and not being able to work. And, and, you know, it's, it's a long time with a lot of, Oh Lord, I thought I had this thing plugged in. I plugged it in. Oh shoot. I plugged it into the, to the phone I thought I was using, but didn't use. So bear with me. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, apartment. I'm not sure. It's a tough decision. It really is a tough decision. I have no doubt, Sandy, I would love to have that option. Is it frozen? No, I was putting in the plug, so maybe that's what happened, Sheila. Um, I, it was showing me that the battery was low, so I just put the plug in. Yeah, there, there are a lot of uh, retirement communities here now. They've, they've come into being in the last number of years. I actually had thought of moving to one several years ago, and if I had, I would have been fine, but I didn't, so the timing was off. And I don't know what I'm going to do. It's, I've got to do something, and I don't know what it's going to be. It scares the hell out of me, but I don't want to focus on it because... I don't want to get myself upset until I need to. It is what it is. One bedroom, kitchenette, huge bathroom, washer, dryer, deck, separate entrance. Sounds great. Yeah, that's really nice. And I have a friend who's just in the process of doing that now. I might be able to actually I have to look into the possibility. I have to, but I would have to make some adjustments and there are things that need to be fixed upstairs before I could do that. So, exactly, exactly. I have the same thing. Every closet is full and I don't use a lot of it. And it really is. And no matter how often I have big brothers and big sisters coming in, it's not enough. It's not enough. Royal Highlands. I have my my friend just moved down to uh, Boynton Beach. She's in the process of moving, and she is getting everything new too. She's really very very pleased about it. She's just sold her house. She's not taking anything with her. I think she was taking one or two things and that was it. And she was gonna start fresh. So it's really nice. I love some of the stuff that I have though, I really do. I have a couple of armoires that I love. I have a, a chest of drawers that I love. I love, I love, I have two beds that I love and I'm, I'm like the princess with the pea when it comes to a mattress. If it's not perfect, I can't sleep. So, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be challenging and it, it is what it is. They're things. Exactly. Exactly. Listen, if I didn't learn that lesson this year, nobody did. Ex exactly. Yeah. It sort of doesn't make sense. Did you really? You did bring your mattress. Yeah. David said to me at first when he said, you know, it just, um, he said, you know, Ma, he said, when you leave, he said, you are going to, yes, I can believe that because the mattress, if it's comfortable, yeah, it, it's hard. That's a tough one, Barb. We are, you missed your fridge magnets. Um we do get attached to things. Sometimes we get attached to things because we think they represent the memories that we have attached to them. And it's, it's hard. It's really hard. Yeah. Exactly. 
exactly. David would call in a service and he would say, just get rid of it and send me the bill. That's what he would do. There's no question about it. I'm sure he wouldn't want anything of mine. It is what it is, you know. The kids have different taste. And yeah, David doesn't want my stuff. And uh, <coughs> he said he learned a tremendous level when he and his, my daughter-in-law split up because he said his entire life was in four plastic bins. And he said what he learned was the other stuff didn't matter, really didn't. <laughs> Did it. Did it, really. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, in the end, it's what makes you happy. That's exactly what David said. David wanted to get a dumpster for me now and just put it in the driveway and toss things out the window. That That's his idea of doing a cleanup. So, yeah, I know, I know. I used to tell my mother, because I've always been a pretty good shopper in terms of getting good value, but my mother used to say to me, he likes your junk. Oh, that's funny, Sheila. A bunch of garbage bags. Yeah, that really, it really is, it really is sad. My mother always used to say to me, you're going to save yourself right into the poorhouse. She was right. Yes. You have to kind of take a picture of it and let it go because the picture will be with you. And it really is, um, it's a good way of dealing with it. So yes, you can look at it if you need to. You don't need to touch it. Yeah, I'm sure that you did. And it's a different look down there and you'd want a different look. It's a new start. It's a new life that you have. So why shouldn't you just enjoy it and just start fresh? It's a nice way to go. Yeah. So if I had the money to do it, I would be perfectly happy to just take a few things that are very meaningful to me and move to a new place and start fresh. But it doesn't look like that's in the cards. You know, it's funny. When you talk about the things that, that you keep, this is going to sound really bizarre. Yeah. When my mother died, uh, I was working in a hospital then, and I stayed in the hospital the whole time she was there, which was, I think, the last nine days of her life. And um, when she died, and when they gave me her stuff, I kept to this day, I still have it in the cabinet above my refrigerator upstairs, her hearing aid in a plastic cup. I could not get rid of her hearing aid because it was so intimately a part of her. Exactly. Exactly. I have loads and loads of pictures here of people I don't know, but I, I, I'm very sentimental about the past and about the past generations and about the lives that they lived and all of that. A lot of people are afraid of change, though. Right, exactly. Yep. Yeah. So, it is what it is. I am, I forgot to put the second light on in my lamp, which is why we have this really bizarre light here. And I, I 
I'm staring straight into the bulb, which is not pleasant. Maybe I should try to see, put the seat up a little bit, the back, see if that helps. Not specially, just shoves me in a different position. Yeah, exactly, but sometimes it's not even a question of what makes you comfortable. Old records. Um, it's sometimes the stuff that you, you, you have to learn how to part with. You just do. It's something that I've been working on. Hold on a second, I've got to get my water. Sheila, if you're still on, note. Yeah, I, okay, let me try to fix it because it is driving me nuts. Oh, I can't. I can't because, <laughs> because I have the... Um, the cord that's attached to the phone across the front of me, so there's nothing I can do. I'm going to have to live with it for today. I'll make sure it's okay for next time. Let me see what I missed. Exactly. Hi, Michelle. Yeah, call it, yeah, call it dumpster. It just is, it's hard. It's just really hard. I look at some of my stuff, though, and I say, why? Why? It was so important. Why? I love my flavored water. I really do. This one is blackberry raspberry. It's very nice. Probably because it's sweet. Yeah, the light is really screwy. I will not do this again. I have to tell you, I occasionally like to watch the hoarder shows because they get me really motivated to clean. But then when I watch them, I'm just, I'm just astounded that people could live with real trash. Yeah. I had a friend who uh, had pretty much lost everything at one point and really was starting out all over again. And that was hard. I would love You clean and take a shower after watching that? Some of those shows I find so astounding, though. Who lives with feces and, and urine in the house? Who does that? Who lives with stuff in the refrigerator that's 10 years old? Really? Oh, God. I'm assuming you meant dog feces. Yeah, no, it's... It, there's something that happens to them. Their brains just don't function the same way. And a lot of times they say that a lot of it, going through a drawer two at a time. I have to tell you, though, obsessive compulsive. I have watched that. I love that. I love that. Dead animals, I know. 
It's amazing. Your husband is a hoarder. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, these these real hoarders are just it's really frightening because once again, th their floors are caving in and they it really is. It really is a sickness. And, and that's just it. Very often it comes from some kind of loss in their lives, but it's, um, I feel terrible when I watch those shows. What did I miss that Sheila's doing? <laughs> yeah. But watching, but watching either cl cleaning, I love to watch decluttering videos. Okay. I missed something you said earlier, Sheila, and nothing you're saying makes sense. I got to go back. I don't. I can't find it. Oh, well, I'm going to have to just play catch up with the conversation as it goes. Gray Gardens. What is Gray Gardens? It sounds very familiar. I know you were telling me that, that you clean every day. I mean, I sweep my floors every, well, I don't, I sleep, I sweep the floors and I vacuum the area rug. Yes. I vacuum the area rug every couple of days because, you know, the dogs are sort of making a little bit of a mess. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's right. Those two relatives. I forgot about that. Yes, those, it was, was it two women? I do remember there was a story about that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Little Edie and Big Edie. Yeah, it's, it's really sad. But, I mean, but they, they said Howard Hughes at the end had so totally changed, and he was, um, he became, he had no connection with the outside world, and he had, I understood that he didn't, clean himself or do anything everyone is not the cleavers you're right you're right i don't think the cleavers were the cleavers <laughs> sort of like reality television nespa oh my god now that's frightening that's really frightening. I've seen I've seen things about Howard Hughes. I'm not sure if I saw the movie. Probably not, but I have seen documentaries about it. Yeah, that's a little weird, that stuff. Good night. Have a great night. I can't even see. 
This is, uh, ooh. Exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. Sandy, when you play, what is it that you play, mahjong or cards? I forgot. With the ladies down there, do you um, let them see this this funny bone of yours? And if you do, do they get your humor? Are you able to kind of kid around with them this way? Oh, that's too bad. I play Mahjong online. I never really did get to play the game, you know, with with real tiles. I did play it once or twice when I was a teenager, but I don't even remember. But I love to play Mahjong online. That's not the game. You're talking about Mahjong? Stips? Do you have to bite your tongue all the time when you're with them? Where'd everybody go? Hello? Hello? <laughs> I feel like I'm having a party of one. <laughs> Next subject. I think I must be tired because I'm yeah I think we need we need we need somebody to come up with a topic for tonight I think I'm just I'm just tired I really got a lot of stuff done today I cleaned out an old junk drawer certain hands on the card oh you do Yes, that would be a great idea. Go to bed. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to go too far. I usually just tilt the chair back and I'm done. At least you can pray to win. <laughs> That's funny because you play in church. That's really funny. <laughs> Actually, Sheila, I'm exactly the same way. I am not a good drinker at all. Twice a week. They have all kinds of things to do, though, don't they, down there? If you choose to participate. You have to tell me the name of the place again. They won't play for money? What do they play for? You're addicted to gin rummy? I used to play gin rummy. Do you play seven card or ten card? Hand and foot sounds like another game altogether. No, I've never played it as a card game. Royal Highlands, seven card. Yeah, I used to like to play. Then again, I used to like to do a lot of things. Now I'm, if I'm playing, I'm playing solitaire. 
And if I play solitaire, I'm playing it on my phone because it's so much easier than cards. That and pickleball. Pickleball seems to be really big in a lot of the uh, communities down south and I think west as well. I think so. I'm out of water. Done. Son of a gun. I'm very much into uh, polka dots. I love polka dots. You like to eat dill pickles, but have no idea what... Oh, pickleball. Yeah, pickleball is, is uh, very popular. That was my reaction the first time also. <laughs> That's funny. All of a sudden, I got so hot. I saw something and then it went away so fast. Now you're craving a pickle. Oh, you play on Facebook. Son of a gun. I didn't know you could play on Facebook. Shows you what I know. I gotta put this down. I think I'm having a hot flash. Ladies, would you forgive me if I ended a little bit early tonight? Yeah, I'm really, I don't do much on Facebook anymore. I used to, but now I am, I am sort of all, all a YouTuber. So no time for Facebook. I used to play Candy Crush a lot. Yeah, and I used to play a number of those games. They had a number of different ones. You can't play pickleball on Facebook. Okay. All right, yeah, I am. I am going to, once again, just, just ask just, I, I really think I need to kind of check out for tonight. I'm tired. And I think, you know, I did, I did a lot of work. I thought it was okay when I did it, but I think it's catching up with me. And I think it's time to kind of go crash. So I think I'm going to do that. And I will see you. Okay. I will, I'm sure I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Love you all.